So no matter what the world would have you believe, men and women are different. And I know that's a controversial topic in today's day and age, but uh, the fact of the matter is that we are built differently. And in the gun industry, we have these same problems. And what uh, uh, typically when a company makes a product, they go for their demographics, which are predominantly men, uh, but the female shooting community does exist. And usually what that means is that they take the man product and they paint it pink or purple or blue and say, yeah, it's for women. And this actually kind of irritates me a little bit because uh, as somebody who's married to a female shooter, uh, she gets the short end of the stick quite often because uh, usually those products that are adapted for women uh, aren't adapted very well. And it's better that they're just designed from the ground up uh, for women. This is especially true when it comes to things like holsters. Uh, women have a different pelvic tilt than men do. And this is partially a social construct, like things like how society tells women they should stand and dress. And then the other part of it is literally a physi physiological thing. It is straight anatomy. So because of that, what ends up happening is that firearms, when a woman wears it around her waist, that curvature that uh, they have causes that gun to lean forward more. So what I mean by this, and if we just go ahead and grab a firearm off the wall here, uh, if we take the example of a adult human male with washboard abs, this gun is gonna sit against him like this. And it's gonna be straight up and down, fairly easily concealed. If we add any tilt to that whatsoever, you can see that the gun starts to go with the curvature of the body. And if we've got a shirt draped over this, then these surfaces over here begin to kind of push through the shirt and print the outline of the firearm, making it more difficult to conceal. Now this also applies to dudes that are like me and need to lose a little bit of weight. So if you have a few extra pounds of flubber around your midsection, it creates an artificial uh, curvature to your body that causes that uh, firearm to press out and print more. And that is one of the, I feel, only legitimate criticisms against appendix carry for some chubbier dudes is that it, their, their belly makes the gun print more because of the way uh, the gun sits against them. So actually what I have for us to look at here today is a product that was designed from the ground up for women and is readily adaptable for us huskier dudes. Now, this is a dedicated appendix rig holster from NSR Tactical. And as you can see, it has a extra mag pouch here and a space for a Smith & Wesson shield. This is for the VSO Mud Girls Smith & Wesson shield. But the way that most holsters work is we have some kind of clip or retention device here that goes on your belt. And then typically that single attachment point or sometimes two allows that holster to slip forward. This thing has this extra strut on here that is in, put in place so that not only your belt can act as the place of attachment, but it is used to provide structure against the front of the holster, against your pants, and press the holster into you more so that it has a more upright angle and doesn't do any of that weird printing stuff. Typically, I don't like clips on my holsters. Uh, I am more of the pull dot loop type things. These are these are my jam. This is usually what I end up running. Uh, but the, you can see that this one has the Alti clip on it. And of all the shitty clips out there, the Alti clip is the least shitty. So if I was going to select a clip to put on my holster, it would be an Alti clip. Now, we need a clip on this thing because remember, this is designed for women and Guys, let's be honest. Uh, as far as the diversity of our wardrobe is concerned, uh, when you leave the house in the morning, you're probably going to be wearing some derivation of pant and some derivation of shirt. Women have a huge plethora of different apparel uh, needs, and they may not always lend themselves to a belt. So uh, a clip is almost a necessity for a women's holster because uh, the pull dot loops only work with belts. And if you can't wear a belt, then you're gonna need some kind of other retention device. So the Alti Clip, very tough to pull. I like that, right? 
and that'll allow this to attach to, if you're a female watching this, uh, your yoga pants and things like that. Thanks guys for tuning into this video. Uh, special thanks to our people on Patreon uh, who make videos like this possible. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate you guys, especially because I don't think you guys really understand uh, the hidden production costs that go into making videos like this. Like the three months of chicken wings and beer that it took for me to be able to get this absolutely awesome body to be able to do today's video. So again, thanks for joining us here today on the VSO Gun Channel, and we'll see you guys on a future video.